In my man cave full of robots We're free and wild Just me and my buddy Like a carefree child Under the neon glow We dance and play In this robot haven We'll never stray. Greetings and salutations, everyone out there in Internet Land. I'm Harold Britt, and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of The Robot Farm. On this particular episode, we'll be talking about this guy right here from Wowie Robotics, the Robo Quad. I love the look of this thing. It looks like so science fiction, like it just came straight out of a sci fi type movie, or like a superhero movie, even. Kind of reminds me of the sentries on Doom 3. Uh, some of you have probably pay played that game. Uh, the little sentry robots that uh, run around helping you out occasionally. But that's what this guy reminds me of. But uh, he was part of an, a, firm, that, a firm order that I was telling you guys about on last episode of the Robot Farm. And yeah, he, I mean... I kind of wrestled with the idea of getting the Affirm order. I was like, you know, I really don't want to start another Affirm. Because uh, it was like originally 70, 70 something dollars. And the seller sent me an offer for 53 something. $53 and some change, not including the taxes. But I'm like, yeah. And, you know, me and my wife debated on it a while. And she's like, you should get it. You should get it. I'm like, and of course I'm, but what if this happens? What if that happens? We got to do this. We got to do that. And, uh, of course she gives me reasons I should go ahead and buy it. That's one of the robots on your list and da, 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 da. And, and he, he is, uh, said to be working. So that's a good deal. And I'm like, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> and of course I, came back with her with, uh, uh, you know, Elvis said it best, you know, and she just gives me this look like, huh? I'm like, don't be cruel. And so she's like, exactly. Don't be cruel. So therefore you can't afford to let this robot be without a home. So, <laughs> uh, I ended up getting that affirm order. And, uh, as you can probably tell by last episode and, this was one of the things I got, one of the two things I've got, and yeah, he ended up being a right good investment, and I'm going to show you guys what all he does right now. All right, so uh, we're going to turn him on right here with this switch at the back, and this is a little bit different than Robo Sapiens uh, on switch or power button. Uh, this one you just slide to the side like that. And you'll notice right off, he's got all these sensors around. All those uh, motion sensors at, on his head, on his uh, front, on his uh, sides. And now, perfect example right there, he can tell that something is right there. You see his reaction. And uh, he doesn't move very well on the carpet, so... I'm going to move him to the kitchen floor. He does, uh, he moves better on the laminate flooring than he does on carpet. So I'm going to move him to the kitchen right now and I'll show you how he moves. All right, guys. So now I've got Mantis on the uh, kitchen floor. That's what my wife named him. Said he looked like a praying mantis, which he does. And, uh, going to start you off with the, uh, demo button. Got his little remote control here. And uh, the demo button pretty much is a little dance routine. Gonna break it down a little bit for you.
As you can see, he works a lot better on the laminate flooring than he does on the uh, carpet. And of course, there's uh, the shift button. There's like a green light, yellow light, red light, almost like the Robo Sapien, but kind of different. So we're going to push, make him go forward right now. Now make him go backward. He's wanting to go a little diagonal here, but uh Now we're going to make his head Unsure what he's doing there, but I do know that he's moving his little head around but yeah and of course let's back him up a little bit and these uh three buttons right here you can dictate uh, whether you want what uh, level you want these three things to be you know you got your, his awareness his uh, aggression level his did I say awareness yet uh, how active do you want him to be and of course this button here makes him go into a little free roaming mode And uh, you see the uh, buttons light up here. Now he's just gonna. But yeah. Really cool. Really, really cool. But yeah, guys, that's uh, just a few of the features of the Robo Quad. I still got to mess around and find out some more stuff about it. Uh, find out some more features. He didn't come with his manual, so but I did get him and his remote control. And like I was saying earlier, you can uh, take and... Uh, choose the level of whatever on here you see just that one change into the green red uh, yellow all that stuff but yeah real good investment all around i'm actually happy with him uh, so he'll look right good with my robo sapien speaking of the robo sapien i tried to see if they could interact and of course they didn't so I of course I looked it up online afterwards I'm like uh, is it something with the sensors or do they just not interact because you know the Wowie robotics robots have a reputation of being able to interact with each other and turns out the Robo quad is a tad too new for the original Robo sapien so yeah those two do not directly interact that I know of. Um, but yeah, if this is something you want to add to your robot collection, I would definitely recommend it. He is definitely, if nothing else, he is definitely a real cool looking robot with lots of neat features. And like I said, he, he looks... Just like something out of a a sci-fi movie. But yeah. Anyway, guys. If you like the video, give me a like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below. And as always, y'all take care and have a very blessed day.
In my man cave full of robots We're free and wild Just me and my buddy Like a carefree child Under the neon glow 